Shook. Welcome back to another Blocks of video. So my name is Abby and I'm very excited to be here with you today. I posted a video yesterday. It was video number one. I had lots of beautiful feedback. Thank you to all my fans, all my friends, all of everyone who watched my video. Um, yeah, the Always Pan was a good, it was a good adventure. I have not used it yet since that day. I mean, that was last night, so. Um, but today on Blocks Up, I'd like to talk about a little challenge that my friend and I are doing. I'm not gonna name her because I didn't tell her I was making this video and that I don't want to like stress her out that she's on the web now. Um, so anyways, I always have been really interested in reading. I was always that person in high school who actually like read the book that the teacher told us to read and would like highlight things. But when you don't have to read something, sometimes it's easy to sort of be like, like, okay, I need to work on this or I need to do this or like I want to go out and do this. And then the reading kind of gets pushed aside. Not saying that reading is like not as important or whatever, but for me, it was something that I would easily sort of put beneath other things in terms of like importance of what I do. But I always know, because after I start reading a book, that I love it. I love so much, um, especially when it's a book that you're really into. You can just like dive right into the book. Um, and it kind of turns into a little movie. I'm sure people watching this understand what I'm talking about. Sorry, my hair is so staticky today. I don't know, it keeps like, in the frame, it probably looks like it's in one solid place, but then there's all these little hairs that are like, I just taught a yoga class, so I think my hair was like up and down and then the static is like wild around me right now. Static energy around me. Back to the point. Yeah, I thought it'd be cool to have almost little updates, but I feel like I didn't even explain what this challenge is yet, so I'm gonna back it up a few steps. This feels like a vlog now again, so I keep going on little tangents here. Um, this challenge. We are trying to read an X amount of books for this year. So my friend, she started this where she was gonna do 50 books a year. This is not like something new. I know a lot of people do this, like 50 books in a year kind of thing. I didn't know anyone personally who was doing it. So she was telling me this a couple weeks ago and I was so excited. I was so, it made me so excited. And I had been reading a little bit, like I'll, every couple days I'll read a few pages, but I'd been really into audiobooks. So I'd already probably listened to like five audiobooks this year. Um, but she was doing it where it was pure, like open a book, read the book, book, book. And I went home after our walk and I was so inspired and I was like, okay, I want to do this. But I was like, I literally don't have time to read 50 books. But then I was like, you know what? I do have time. Because sometimes if you go on your phone or you go on your computer for me, it'll be like, you have been on your laptop for seven hours or like six hours or sometimes ridiculous like eight or ten hours because if I'm working on school if I'm getting distracted and stuff and I'm like you know what one of those hours I could just transfer into book time and then all of a sudden I'm gonna be reading all this knowledge all these stories and I just think it'd be a good challenge for me so wanted to jump right onto the 50 but then I was like I'm also starting a two and a half months behind her because she already had January Feb and then half of March, and I didn't want to count my audiobooks or my pre-read books, otherwise I'd be probably up to 10. I'll pop, put numbers here so you can have a visual. I had 50 books divided by 12 months equals this many books, and then I did that times 10.5 because I missed the two and a half, and it equaled about 40. I rounded up because I was halfway through a physical book, and I wanted to make these physical books. Um, I'm counting my Kindle as like a physical book. Not that audios are bad, love audiobooks and still listen to them, except I wanted to make this sort of a challenge for myself to read physical books. And I've technically read probably like 10, maybe 11 books if I count my audios, but I'm gonna start with my just physical. So I thought it would be kind of fun in this channel to sort of do recaps throughout the years on what I'm reading, throughout the years, throughout the weeks, throughout the months, see what I'm reading, see what I like, just sort of give ideas to those of you out there who are not sure what you want to read, if you want to read something. Okay, so I will get my first book. Okay, I really want to make sure this is in focus because yesterday after the catastrophe of the whole midsection of my video being blurry, but if you watched the video you saw me, I didn't I didn't want to go back and like re-measure everything because it already had been created into the pancake, the single pancake recipe. So 
Okay, that is not happening today. We are in clear vision, 2020 vision. Okay, book one. So I'm gonna start with the half book, even though I didn't read it in this exact order because it makes sense to sort of get this half book out of the way. I'm the type of person who reads pretty much all nonfiction. I really like self-development books, self-help books, different like motivational books. That's what I really liked reading and, and I still love reading that because I kind of found that fiction was like a waste of time. Not that that makes any sense, but to me it was hard to justify. Again, I don't believe in this now. The book I just finished was a fiction. Book number one of this challenge was The Three Pillars of Zen. So here's an image of it right here. This book I had on my Kindle, really loved it. You see, I'm not gonna like give away things in the books because like that would be a spoiler, but I'll just do little summaries. This book was a little bit longer of a book. It was almost 400 pages. I had been reading it on and off basically since January. So it was sort of one of those books I'd read a little bit, put it aside, read about it. I started Zen about half a year ago. And I, if you follow blocks of process, the original blocks of time, you can see different sits I do. But yeah, Three Pillars of Zen was introduced to me by a, a Zen teacher that I meet with frequently. And she sort of has guided me on my practice and helped me understand what it even means to be practicing Zen. If you're interested in Zen, I would definitely recommend Three Pillars of Zen. It gives the fundamentals of what Zen is, how to sit, some of the philosophy behind it, and even references different Zen masters such as like Dogen. The next book, Zen Mind, A Beginner's Mind. So this is another Zen book. Yoga is very integrated in my life and I'm so interested in pranayama and yoga and yoga philosophy. Recently I've also been getting into Zen so I have sort of different philosophies that I'm interested in. But another famous Zen book, a little bit shorter. I think it was almost two, it was 200 pages. But again, I'm not thinking about books in their length because I don't want to specifically pick books that are small to be like, okay, I can get these read quicker and then finish the challenge. This is what I mean by the challenge. Like I want to be able to be like, I'm gonna pick up a 500 page book. I'm gonna read a 500 page book or I'm gonna pick up a 100 page and just kind of like actually based on the content as opposed to page competition. Because my friend and I also are not doing this as like a competition. It's not like who can read it faster or who can read 60 books instead of 50. It's more just so we can motivate each other to, um, I don't know, keep reading, keep pushing ourselves to fill any sort of blocks of spare time, as you may say. Yeah, Zen Mind, Beginner's Mind, beautiful written book. It's almost like his lessons. So he didn't write the book. It was one of his students who was with him for all these lessons, and then he transcribed it and put it into a text. So it, as you go through, it's almost one of those you could open at a random page and just read that like chapter or that talk. You could read it in a completely different order. But yeah, it's definitely something that I'll revisit and reread. So yeah, okay. Next book. This is book number three. It is called Magpie Murders. So this book was actually given to me by my neighbor. She had all these books that she had read, she had loved, and she was like, you know, I'm not eating these right now. Do you want any of them? And But I was like, I, I don't really, I don't know if I really want to read any of these because I really only read like fiction books and I had a couple more Zen books that I wanted to read, a couple like different self-development books that I'm like, yes, like, 50 books of self-development, like I'm gonna be on fire at the end of the year. But she dropped these books off anyways though. She told my mom who she gave the books to, she's like, this one right here, I, I'd hold it, but I don't have it with me right now. She's like, this one right here, The Magpie Murders. She's like, I just read it, it's so good. It's a murder mystery novel. It's like almost 500 pages, like this book is thick. It's like, first of all, I don't really read that much fiction. Second of all, it's so thick. As much as I'm trying not to worry about like length of books, I was like, oh, how am I going to read this in a week? Um, because I'm still in school. I'm still, I teach yoga, I go to I class, like I'm, I'm still making this YouTube. I'm like, okay, lots going on. And I started reading it. And I am not kidding. I, I feel like I have never like stared into the lens. That was like a very intense moment. It's like when you make eye contact with someone, hey, I'm talking to a camera. I need to relax the clock behind me. Getting too amped up about this book. Long story short, I could not put this book down. Like I am reading it all the time. I'm like waiting for my water to boil, read the book. I have five minutes in between one class and another class on, I'm in Zoom school right now. So when I say one class and the other, I, I sit and I'm waiting for the like the Zoom to resume. The Zoom to resume. And I got through this book in like six days. Like I, it was so good. Without giving any 
anything away because that would be such a bummer for like a murder mystery if I just like straight up told you what happened but vampire murders would definitely recommend that brings me to book number this is book four so my dad recommended this book to me it's called the five people you meet in heaven I have it here with me that's why I physically have this so it's a little bit smaller I think it's about 200 pages I have literally 20 pages left so probably after I film this video I'm gonna finish it I mean the I'm not really giving it away if it's called the five people you meet in heaven the guy goes to heaven and he's meeting five people I feel I felt like me by saying that I'm giving away some big secret but like it's called five people you meet in heaven so it's all about the different lessons of life I'm really liking it so far I don't want to give its final judgment until I've finished reading it because who knows lots can happen there people there's a lot a lot of opportunity there. There's about a quarter inch of opportunity left in this book. I will definitely give this in the next update. Maybe after I read like five more books, I'll do another one of these updates. Or maybe after I read a quarter inch of a book. I don't want to have rigidity on this channel. I want to keep it sort of just on the day. I'm going to try to make a lot of videos though. We gotta keep, we gotta keep that content coming. Um, no, I read that somewhere. Of course me being like, I want to start a YouTube channel. I go Google, I go how to start a good YouTube channel, or like how to have a successful YouTube channel. And they're like, you must post lots of content. So I'm like, okay, I can do that. Get ready, friends. This is why I'm keeping it a little more casual, a little more vloggy. Anyways, that's all I really had to say today. I'm excited to be reading more and more. You know, you just, you gotta make the time for yourself. It's easy to let other things get in the way. Sometimes you gotta set those boundaries. <laughs> Like snapping out the camera. No, I'm, I'm just excited because I'm about to have my overnight oats, which will definitely be in another video. I make little overnight oats all the time in a jar. Perfect breakfast plug to overnight oats. Have a fantastic Monday, and I will see you all very soon. Oh my gosh, I'm not ending my video with peace signs. I, this is how I ended my video yesterday. I was looking back and I was like, what? I went, thank you.